I'm gonna. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, here we go. Yeah, but you were in my team from the start, <laughs> so maybe I need to give them them vision. I think you were like you and the uh, goblin were in my team from the start. It's fine. I'm, I'm gonna do it. It's fine. Can give them a vision over the spot so that everybody knows where I started. All right, we are going to be commenting this game. We have two teams in the likes of I'm Underage, which is Green Goblin, Paolo, and Daybreak and Eternal Game Nan. By the way, Goblin is not Underage. <laughs> Just likes to have controversial nicknames. That's, uh, that's what he likes to do. And that's why I was laughing when he joined the game. So, Goblin is starting here in blue. It's playing the Storm River Orcs. And it's gonna be great. I am not muted in Discord, am I? No, I'm not. Okay, I'm, I will be though. All right. I am muted in Discord. Let's comment at this. So we have blue, the blue green goblin here on the bottom right at the four o'clock position. He is going to be chopping that wood, so he has a better gold flow. He's looking pretty good. I do like his base so far. I'm very eager to have him chop that wood because you can see otherwise the peon starts popping from the sides. Whereas when he's done chopping the wood, you can see they will start popping here, which is much, much more comfortable, as you can tell. As far as the other players are concerned we have the black player Mr. Eternal Game Nan and he was found by Goblin and already attacked by a few grunts you can see that he's struggling to fight that off but he's gonna be just fine the one Rax is here and the tower is being upgraded we have only two farms though and that is a big problem that is a big no-no if you are uh, if you have been watching my youtube you know that you should be building farms and peons all the time and if you do that you might be as strong as Green Goblin or Mr. Daybreak! Daybreak is playing the purple Twilight Hammer Clan and he's starting right here. He's looking good. He's making a lot of grunts. He has one, two, three, four farms and um, he is just bumping grunts non stop from his two Raxes. And you can see that Paolo has a little bit of a struggle. So it is the good against the bad on the both sides. But you can see that Goblin is very well alert and he's going to be trying to push away Daybreak from the face of Paolo. At forcing him to intervene here and giving Fowler a little bit of time to, to breathe. This is probably going to be a cannon tower and that's going to be allowing him to defend that uh, that wall pretty effectively. I would love Fowler to start making a little bit more farms and peons but that's looking okay all right for now. Uh, I would love him also to pull more peons because he's going to need more than one to repair that. That is one, two, three, four, five, six grunts. So you probably want to have at least four or five grunts there. But the cannon tower being up, that is going to be just fine. And daybreak is going to be pushed away. This map needs needs more annoying creatures, zero mages with polymorph. True, true, crazy. Maybe you're just maybe you are wearing your name very well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm looking forward to see what uh, Goblin has on the table. He's still on the one racks against the two of Daybreak, but so far he has been able to uh, output so much pressure on the map uh, without sacrificing any of his macro, and that is looking good for him. He's going to be chopping that wood and he's going to be setting up uh, an expansion every uh, very uh, very soon if he can, but. You can see Eternal Games is going to be on the offense now. He's sending some footmen here. It's going to kill the peons chopping from Goblin, which is very unfortunate because he hadn't removed that tree. And that one is the one, the most important one. And now Goblin in trouble because he's in a very disadvantageous choke point, a 4v5 that uh, is not in his favor. And now he's going to have to fight back because he's surrounded by enemies. Can he close the base in time? And no, it looks like it's going to be a game oh, 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 over. Game Ogre, sorry. This is illegal because he's underaged. <laughs> uh, goblin is a rip. It's the police. 
Open up. <laughs> I would probably have gone and done that in the JavaScript in the browser. I'm not super familiar with GUI programming, so it's generally what I do when I need some UI. Uh, well, I guess it works. Like anything works, really. Um, I wanted to be like I could have used that as a browser source, but the problem is I, I want to be able to interact very fine, uh, very fine with it. So having another browser open just so my site can be uh, used like that. I mean, I guess people could, other people could use it this way. Um, I used to make a plugin that was a JavaScript plugin uh, to track uh, the ELO of players on the private server. Uh, I did that in JavaScript, and that was something players could use and it had a browser source that you could ha use inside your uh, your stream as well but it was because you were some using something online uh, and you were on the site anyway it didn't make it didn't make sense to have a program for that but since this is a program that I literally only intend to use locally and that is not going to have to be connected to internet uh, I believe it is fitting that it's, it is an app that you can just run um, like that um, but it is my reasoning. That said, I could have used C, I could have used C++, I could have used SDL, I could have used uh, <laughs> any of the other stuff, but I felt like it thinks it's gonna be mostly UI, uh, Godot, does, um, Godot does all of that very fine for me already, like the UI is already like, I don't have to program the buttons and everything, everything is already done, so um, you know. I'm not going to be reinventing the wheel here, I'm just going to use the, the stuff that's already there. And it seems that Goblin is still alive, which is absolutely unheard of. I was not expecting Goblin to survive, but that is um, Paolo who actually saved him. Paolo is going to try and hold this, which is not a real choke point, my guys. It is a one, it is a, it is not real. It's a false choke point because you have, uh, you have a, a, a four uh, grants here against four, and then you have um, you have one here, so it's a 5v5. Um, this is going to be the pressure on the side. Games are going great. Hey, 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 how are you doing tonight, sir? Do you want to play Work of 2? Do you want to play Work of 2? I don't know. Maybe you want. Maybe you don't. And you see that Paolo is going to try and, and relieve the pressure from that side, but he's breaking the choke. I'm about to be penetrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Goblin the jokes! Oh gosh, what are we gonna do? What, what, what are we gonna do with Goblin, guys? I don't know. <laughs> His defense was about to be penetrated. Unfortunately. You're about to be finished. <laughs> oh no. Nah, I can't play. Lol, I'm too noob. There is not no such things. That doesn't exist. You either can have fun on the game or you can't. But you, there is no being noob at the game. It's a video game. It's not life. Uh, you can afford losing a few. <laughs> if you're having fun, you're not wasting your time. That's what I say. Uh, it, regardless of your skill level, you could be the worst player in the world. If you're having the fun of your life, then you're not wasting your time playing a video game. That, because that's what they're for. They're for training your... The, the, video games are a very good training tool for your brain, for your uh, reflexes and muscles. But it is also... Um, it, it is also an entertainment tool. So if you're entertained when you're playing, you're doing things right. Always keep that in mind. I would never prioritize winning a game over having fun. Never. Because that that is not how I view a video game. If you are having more fun watching than playing, then you can watch. <laughs> it is totally right. You're absolutely right to do that. If that is what you fancy more. That said, you you don't know if you don't try. Maybe you would be finding it funnier to play. I don't know. 
just leaving that out there <laughs> in case you would you're welcome to try goblin you were supposed to carry okay <laughs> goblin macro goblin is trying to macro on the rush map <laughs> Goblin is underage. Yeah, he changed. He has a pretty uh, like Goblin loves to make controversial nicknames. I don't know if he's if that is because he wants to get me banned from uh, from Twitch. But I'm not gonna make a mistake. I'm not gonna type that in the chat. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> All right, I can't I can't rename people. You know, that's what it is. <laughs> For the record, Twitch, I do I do condemn everything that is bad, and I do uh, support everything that is good. That that is uh, my statement. That's my defense. <laughs> well, he's gonna certainly have a lot of gold. Bad is bad and good is good. Exactly, exactly. Be happy. I, I'm for world peace. Oh, wait a second. Is that even... Can we even say that? I am for world peace now? Because, uh, like, I heard that uh, if you're against war, uh, it's bad in some situations. Like, you should uh, not condemn certain war, but, but some, are, some are good and some are bad. Okay, so the, the wars that are bad are bad, and the wars that are okay are okay. I am not against... Things that are okay, and I'm against things that are bad. That that is very non derogatory. <laughs> non derogatory uh, statements, right there. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> nice disclaimer. Here we go. We have uh, uh, a lot of stuff. Yeah, that is a pretty nice daybreak carrying the game like a champion. And, um, well, we can say one thing. Goblin had the most gold and the most produced units. So a lot of peons and a lot of gold. Besides that, um, 